Life in the Theater is a David Mamet play that was written in the mid-70s. It is a good many years since it was performed in New York. It has never been performed on Broadway, so this is charming that it's Broadway premiere. Um, it is about the backstage world of two actors, a young actor and a very much older actor. The young actor is starting out clearly highly talented, gifted young man. And the old guy, he's not too bad either. In some ways it's a very sort of loving and funny portrayal of older actors advising younger actors, a younger actor coming onto the scene and discovering success for the first time and learning from the older actor and then also wanting to say, you know, let me be my own person. It's just about two guys who, I, the way I think about it, who just happen to be actors. So you follow these two people who have, you know, thrown together who are very different and all their kind of like, you know, the clashes and the coming together that happens when you're forced into a situation with someone you know, of a different age, of a different experience. I, I've done a lot of work on dead playwrights. Uh, you know, what would you give to have William Shakespeare there just for 20 minutes to say, okay, okay, this, 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 and this. And we've just spent three days in this room going through the play line by line, scene by scene, with the writer right there. Um, so generous in his responses to what we were bringing to it, so prepared to talk about what he had written. Still that kind of experience where you're sitting at the table and you know, Mamet Stewart. And then you're like, you know that Sesame Street thing? One of these kids is doing their own thing. It's a little bit like that. We are having such a great time. And of course, the, in a way, the play reflects who we are. Uh, both of us, both of us with film and television experience, both of us with stage experience, but with several decades separating our two careers, and that's exactly how it is in the play. So we shall be mercilessly making use of all of them. They're remarkable actors, and they're very, very well suited to their roles, and I'm learning a lot from them. So my job is to sort of frame them up well and then get out of the way so they can do their work. Right.